Let's talk a little bit more about our lower limb valix points, a really key component to lift oct prolotherapy. Now, first of all, let's talk a little bit more about valix points, just to recap. They're an anatomical site along the course of the nerves where they, the nerve bifurcates, goes under, through, um, or over muscular junctions, um, or they could just be areas where through applying pressure, we can elicit or worsen symptoms, such as just simple pain, tingling, or numbness. Now, really important to start to get a bit of an idea of these areas. And in a moment, we're going to go through a bit of a video to explain these a little bit more. But what we're talking about are these areas where these nerves are, are coming from. And I do encourage you again to pause, have a bit of a look, start noting these down um, because it is really important. Um, but also start considering um, to check for the, your patients, even just during your simple biomechanical or you know maybe some of your general care, asking the patient if you can check for a few of these areas to see if they're sensitive because very commonly they are. Again, when we start to see a little bit more detail of where some of these um, smaller attributing nerves and uh, the communications are, we can then start to really appreciate what we're looking at. Um, we can really start to see you know, some of the uh, valix nerves with the perineal or fibula nerve here, um, as well as that deep and superficial uh, perineal as well. Um, but do note some of the sural attributions to that lateral foot and to that uh, calcaneus as well. As we come into the tarsal tunnel and the tibial nerve, um, some of the bifurcations into that medial calcaneal in the red and the Baxter's nerve in green. Okay, we know these are very common spots. We're commonly pushing here in our plantar heel pain syndrome patients. And so just getting a further appreciation of the anatomy is a really important aspect. Um, now we will go through these collectively, um, depending on the condition um, in some later slides, but start to recognize, identify, and even mark these points on your patients. It really is critical. Consider that your homework, um, just to, you know, or your, your work work, um, and on the next biomechanical patient, really start assessing for these, okay? But let's watch this um, video further and um, see if we can uh, pull out a few more of these Valix points uh, so that we can explain this process a little bit more. Now, first of all, remember with these Valix points that we want to start where our pain is as our first level, but then we want to go two or three levels above. Now, that means that we do need to have an appreciation of where our whole uh, lower leg uh, is going to be moving nerve-wise, but also with regards to those bifurcations so that we can be a little bit more specific uh, and really, you know, as much as we're pushing, we're pushing in the spots that we already expect to be tender. Now, where we're starting, you know, with that superficial perineal, um, as it's diving into those deeper muscular layers, we can start to find them. And now I'm very commonly undertaking sort of this, um, you know, uh, anterior central ankle, um, just above a little bit more lateral around that lateral malleolus, um, very commonly of the saphenous nerve, um, you know, on the medial um, malleolus, but just inferior, but also start considering, you know, if there's any um, tarsometatarsal joint arthritis. And, you know, maybe we're sort of hitting into these areas here, as well as into that deep perineal, depending on the concern. As we're talking sort of some of our tibial nerve and our heel pain patients, yeah, we're, we're wanting to look towards that Baxter's nerve where we're bifurcating from the medial and lateral um, plantar nerves off of the tibial, but also the calcaneal nerves, a very important aspect when we start talking about our Achilles pain. Uh, and then, you know, coming along to the sural, quite similarly, and, you know, into our perineal um, pain, we may be starting at that styloid process, um, coming up through to some of our communicators, into our lateral planner, uh, lateral calcaneal, I should say, and then also coming up a little bit further, we start to find some of these other communicators are quite sensitive. Now, a lot of you, if you haven't checked, really behind the uh, knee on that medial and lateral aspect, particularly as that common perineal is coming around, um, we do start to see these are quite sensitive areas and that could be your upper threshold um, of where you're looking there. Hopefully that clears a few things up. Um, you know, today that's been the lower limb valix points, so I hope you've got a little bit more information there as well. Cheers.